Hey, 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 what's up, you champions? Gediminas here. Hi, 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 hi. What is happening? Happy Friday. Hopefully, you guys are doing very well. Okay, uh, so today I wanted to ask you a question. Are you a one-trick pony? What do I mean by that? <laughs> if you're watching a replay of this, please do a massive favor and stay hashtag replay into the comments. And if you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, then do say new in the comments so I can say hi, I can say hello, I can connect with you, etc. Okay, so what am I on about? The reason why I'm asking, are you a one-trick pony? Hey, Alice, welcome on to the call. I heard a lot of good things about you today. I'm very, very excited about you. Hey, Margarita. Hey, Superstar. How are you doing? All right. So what do I mean about one-trick pony? What I mean is, are you hinging your whole business on one thing? On that one person joining your business? on that one strategy that you have. Hey Gunther, how you doing? Right? So what you have to understand, the first of all this business is a marathon and it's not a sprint. Hey Anna, welcome, welcome. You know, this your success in network marketing will not depend on one person joining your business or not joining your business will not depend on that one leader appearing or not appearing in your business. It will not depend on that one strategy or not one strategy. So what well, you have to understand that, you know, sometimes people get so focused on like they go, well, if only this one person joins my team, it's going to be so amazing. It's going to be so incredible. And they go and speak to that Aunt Susie or whoever and they go, now nah, I'm not interested. And they go, oh, that's it. No chance for me now to succeed in the business. Whereas reality is that one person, it's such a small chance that that one person will make that much difference for your business long term. It's a very, very small chance. Let me just turn that off. So, so the idea is that no one person will make such a big difference in your business. Some, some people will join, some people won't. Some people will do something, some people won't. But the idea is that the, the consistent action, the consistent recruitment, the consistent bringing of people over the long term, that's what's going to make the biggest difference in your business. Hey, Neringa. Hey, Rina. Hey, Hamad. Hey, Renata. Hope you guys are awesome, right? So, so that's what you want to focus on. Don't focus on that one person. Don't get addicted to that outcome that, oh, this person when they join my business is going to be incredible, right? I used to be like that. At the beginning, you know, uh, uh, somebody like would join my business and they would say all the right things like, yeah, I'm going to recruit, you know, a thousand people, etc. And I would go, oh my gosh, it's going to be so incredible. And when that person doesn't do anything, I'd go, oh, they said they're going to do it. And they're not doing etc. Right? So I'd be, you know, depressed and everything. Now I'm taking everything with a pinch of salt. So when somebody joins my team and goes, oh my gosh, I'm going to recruit half of Africa and I'm going to open this new region, I'm going to do that, etc. I go, awesome, sounds great, but time will show, right? Because most people, they talk the talk, but they don't, do, don't walk the walk. You know, so there's so many people who are loud, you know, they talk much, but they don't produce much. I look at production, I look at activity, I look at results. When I see results, when I see activity, even no results at the beginning is just the activity. But when I see the person in activity, that's when I get excited. That's when I get happy, right? And same with any strategies. You know, again, if your whole business is just one strategy, you are risking badly. Like if your whole business is just built through Facebook, right? Then your whole business is hinging on that one platform, right? So if tomorrow they, they close Facebook or if tomorrow they change the algorithm and you can't message people or can't whatever, then your whole business stops, right? I wouldn't do that. You know, instead, you have to have different strategies. So maybe talking to people face to face, maybe calling people on the phone, maybe doing Facebook as well, and maybe doing some marketing, you know, putting some content out there on Facebook and maybe on YouTube, on Periscope or whatever, right? So you want to think that you're not a one trick pony. You don't just have one way of doing things and that's it. You're so rigid that if there's a, it has to be another way, you go, oh, I can't do that because, you know, because 
you know, I often hear that, you know, where I go, well, if you wanted to sell this food supplement, this is what you say. And somebody goes, well, what do I say if I'm selling toothpaste? Well, exactly the same thing. You just replace the food supplement into toothpaste. You know what I mean? So be flexible in the way you learn. You know, don't like I advise you to obviously study Eric Worre and study Ray Higdon and study Fraser Brooks, all of these generic trainers that teach network marketing, but also be flexible. So, you know, if you listen, you're watching Oprah and she might say something that you go, ooh, I could use that in my business. You might be reading a completely different book and you might go, oh, I could use that in my business. You may be in church at a sermon and the priest says something and you go, oh, that actually applies to my business too. You know what I mean? So be flexible. Don't be just a one trick pony where everything has to happen just in one way or addicted to just that one person or that one group of people. Again, you know, I hear so often people going, you know, Oh, you know, because because I'm Lithuanian, I can only recruit Lithuanians. Or because I'm a woman, I can only recruit women. Or because I'm black, I can only recruit black people. That is such a baloney. That is such a BS. And if you believe that, guess what? It'll become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So then you will only be able to recruit because you made that decision in your head. But actually, it doesn't matter. You know, I used to work with a guy, I remember, uh, selling products and... I remember we arrive at the door, uh, you know, to do a presentation for these people and we arrive at the door and he goes, oh, we're not going to sell anything here. And I go, what do you mean? Why? Like we haven't even gone in a house yet. And he goes, they got red door. They never buy when they have red door. <laughs> I go, you what? Right. But because he had that decision, he had that mindset. Guess what would happen every time he goes in a house with the red door? He wouldn't sell anything because you already made that decision, right? So exactly the same way, you might have those decisions that, oh, you know, I, I cannot recruit, you know, white or black or green or blue people, or I cannot recruit men or women, or I cannot recruit young or old people or whatever because of whatever preconceptions you have. But I tell you, it's not true. It is not true. If you're young, you can recruit old people. If you're white, you can recruit black people. If you're black, you can recruit white people. If you, you know, English, you can recruit Eastern Europeans. If you're Eastern European, you can recruit English. It doesn't really matter. It's just your mindset. If you believe it, it becomes true for you. You know, when I first started, I was doing pretty well face to face, belly to belly recruiting people. But I had a mindset that because of my Eastern European accent, that if I call leads, they would not listen to me. They wouldn't join my business. And guess what would happen? I'd call leads and nobody would join my business. <laughs> because in, in a way, like even if you don't say it to a person, that, oh, I don't think you're going to join me because I have an Eastern European, you're going to put that across. They're going to feel that energy. They're going to feel the waves you are sending to them and they will just not join. You know, so you have to be confident. You have to believe in yourself. You have to go through it. You know, it's, and it works vice versa. Like if you have a belief for me in my head, for example, if I'm going to do a presentation to somebody, if I meet at a coffee shop or whatever, in my head, they are joining my business. Like in my head, it's not normal for you not to join my business. So if I come to you and I do a presentation for you, I am assuming that you're joining my business. Like, I do not ask you, hey, so are you going to be joining or not? Like, no, I come with a mindset that it's such a great thing what I have. It's amazing opportunity that there's no way you're not going to join. Now, I'm not going to pressurize you. I'm not going to put you whatever under, under pressure, but I will assume my whole language will say, well, things like, well, when you join our team, this is what you're going to get. And yeah, yeah, well, you know, we'll be going together to that training too. Except, so I'm already using the language like they are in the business already. I'm already assuming that they are part of my business. I, I don't know, I'm getting a bit off the topic. But, but what I mean is that you have to let go of those limiting beliefs uh, of whatever you got in your head that, oh, I can't do this or I can't do that. Or, because the more you say it, the more true it becomes to you. If you keep saying my English is not good enough, your English will never be good enough. If you keep saying I'm not good at remembering names, then you will never going to remember the names. So you have to start changing your language in order for your world, for your life to change. You know, Tony Robbins uh, calls it transformational vocabulary, where instead of stay, saying I'm overwhelmed, 
you say it's a bit challenging. Instead of saying I'm depressed, you say oh, I'm a bit annoyed. Or you know what I mean? So you change the words how you describe yourself and your life changes. Do you know that some nations, there are nations in the world who do not have a word war in their dictionary. In their dictionary, in their language, there is no word to describe war. And guess what? They have never had war in that country. <laughs> because they don't have a word for it. So they would not have that emotion. They would not have that action because they don't even have the word for it, right? So what if you started changing the words that you use Instead of saying, I can't, you say, how can I? Instead of saying, I don't know how, you say, how could I learn? You start replacing those negatives, those limiting words that are pushing you down into positive words and mindset that lifts you up, that makes you go and find the way. And, it be and you stop being a one-trick pony. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's my message for today. I hope you got some value from this if you did. Feel free to share it with other people. Maybe they will get some value too. And if you're already in network marketing and you'd like my 26 different ways how to find customers and sell more products, then head over to titaniumsuccess.co.uk forward slash sales. Thank you very much, Margarita. You are an amazing superstar for sharing this. I appreciate you. Let's rock and roll, guys. Have an awesome evening. See you at the top. Bye for now.